Hey Dazzle family, how's it going? It is a, another gorgeous week. I actually have been really busy with work and my business. So, so far there hasn't been a lot going on this week, but hopefully there will be some exciting stuff this weekend. Otherwise, we might be popping in a Q&A right here. So, super excited just to see you guys again and try new things. Let me know in the comments. I'm starting to notice my views are skyrocketing, so let me know what you guys want to see. What would be entertaining? Is there something like a challenge that I can do? Um, I'm spacing out the food and um, coffee challenges because I am really crazy strict right now, especially with summer and Vegas coming up, that I don't wanna put too much crud in my body all at once. So I will be doing that 24 hour challenge soon. Just gotta go hang out with my friend for 24 hours. Um, let's see, what else? What do you guys want to see? So this is my makeup today. It's a very similar routine to what I showed in my last video, but I do sometimes different colors. Um, this week I've actually not been doing the underline eyeliner, and that's simply because my allergies are out of this world bad, you guys. So if I put eyeliner on there, I'm usually rubbing my eyes at some point because they're watering or they're burning, and if I get any kind of like makeup in my eye, it just is a hundred times. Um, I got a new lip kit, and I'll have to pop in like a little video of that when I get home, but um, I've been trying all the different colors and two-toning it, so double layering it with other colors. So let me know what you guys think, and um, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll do some exciting stuff this weekend, give you guys something exciting to watch. If not, then it'll be a Q&A, which is super cool because you'll get to know a little bit more about me. Alrighty, guys, you have a wonderful day. This is my outfit of the day, and I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna make it, yeah. All hard work's gonna be worth it. pictures afterwards just because there is family there I'm gonna get going and then later I'm gonna do Q&A for you guys so I'll be answering all the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and Facebook so Bye. I used to let it in all the things you said Checking out a 
new pet store in St. John's, Portland with some of the coolest workers, Sean. Woo! Say hi to the vlog, Sean. Hi, vlog, Sean. <laughs> Miss hi, Jessica. Vlog. We're gonna go check out the super cute pet store that's new. I don't personally have a pet, but these guys do, so. We're, we're all Take interested in Drake's well-being. It's true, she has the cutest cat. Can you guys all put in the comments how Jessica needs to make a YouTube channel or an Instagram page for her cat Drake? He is yeah. the cutest. Right? Yes, he is cute. I would I would take him from her if I could. Me too. I would too. <laughs> Alright, drop it in the comments. I won't let it by. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet, it will come back to you. fam how's it going another episode this week I decided we're gonna do some Q&A so I asked all my Instagram and Facebook followers to send me in their questions what questions would you like me to answer to get to know me more so I'm gonna go ahead and go through these questions here we go all right the first question is y'all I don't know what is going on with my hair it's just like let me fall in front of your face Oh, what is that? Okay. <laughs> Why is this a thing right now? I'm about to go pin my hair back. All right, here we go. Take three. So somebody asked me to talk a little bit about my main job. So aside from the business I own, like what I do for my main work, and they wanted to know what motivates me for that job and why I decided to take a path in loss prevention security as well as wanting to go into law enforcement. That's probably one of the easiest questions you could ask me because I'm so firm in like what I want for my future. I'm very goal oriented. Um, clearly I'm almost 30 years old and I've put everything else on the back burner because I am so dedicated to wanting to get my dream job which is to be a police officer. Um, so I was abused as a child and that really was probably the biggest changing point in my life. And I remember somebody saying like, whatever you decide to do in your life, make sure it's something that makes you happy. Make sure that it's something that you always feel like you can grow in and where you can feel like you're making the most effective change for you and your life. And um, a lot of the times they would ask like, you know, think of a moment in your life that was a turn one of the most life-changing events that happened and it didn't make me weaker it made me stronger but it motivated me and i always thought i wanted to get into um acting or movie producing or video production because i had such a big interest in that in high school and i still love it but i love it almost as like a side thing um i really want to get out and make an actual difference like i want to have an effective physical change. I wanna have a voice and I wanna be one of those people that can go out and do some good in the world. People out there that genuine, genuinely want to make a change um, and genuinely like want to go out there and help people. And that's, that's what I've always wanted to do. And I love investigations. Like I love just getting all this different information, digging into things. Um, I love a challenge. And so when I thought about like, what could I see myself doing for the rest of my life that would really cover all those things that would really remind me of like where the turning point happened in my life. And I was like a detective, that's my job. That's what I need to do. I need to go out and be a detective. And then I can investigate for the rest of my life. Um, so more than wanting to be a police officer, I really want to be an investigator and you have to do so many years of street cop getting that kind of experience before you can really go into that field. So that is why I am doing loss prevention because I'm building my resume and actually be able to say that I have some experience in the field and hopefully that see that I have that strength. I love what I do. I get to do a little bit of investigation. Um, I get a little, do a little bit of stopping shoplifters. You guys know how LP works. Um, so it's nice because I'm getting some of that really valuable experience in a big city right now. So I do, I love that. 
Um, and then hopefully I will be able to be a police officer soon and then get my two years or whatever the minimum requirement is and prove myself to be a really good detective and that's where I wanna settle. I will always be one of those working ladies even when I have kids, um, I just, that's just how I am, I'm a workaholic. So <laughs> I feel like 90% of my life is work but I love it and I wouldn't have it any other way. So um, that is why I decided to take a path in security and why I'm taking a path in law enforcement. So hopefully I'll be able to get out there and save a few more kids' lives from having to go through turmoil and hopefully be able to get out there and make an effective change. Hopefully that happens one day, that's, that's my goal. <laughs> um, the next question was, what are your favorite things to do outside of work? So when I'm not working, which is, like I said, 90% of the time, um, I love to go to the beach. Like my whole thing is I cannot live away from a beach. I have to be within driving distance of a beach or I would go crazy because it's my happy place. And I don't get to go as much as I would like to, but my goal is to hopefully start getting to go more. Um, I love to get out and socialize when I can, like get to spend time with my friends. Um, I'm all about like connections and my friends are my family. So getting to actually go out and spend time with them, that's why I've kind of made like Friday nights are like my friend nights. Like we can go out to dinner, we can go bowling. Um, but those are really like the one night where I'm away from my business. I'm not away from my work and I'm just really focused on the connections I have with my friends um, because that's really your support system and you kind of just need that one time. I love to work out. I am very um, like health and wellness oriented and I feel like I've gotten really off track with my um, fitness. So I love to run. I'm a runner. I'm a long distance runner. Um, I help coach jumping and track. Um, I've coached cross country in the past. I just, I absolutely love running. I'm one of those crazy people, but um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm hiking, traveling. If I get an option to travel somewhere, I'm all over it. I'm always looking for like a new place to go travel each year. So I love when I get to go see my family in San Diego. That's, I hopefully get a we'll get to move down there this year. That's the goal. Cause I just, I love it there. To me, that is the perfect place on earth. And I would love to be able to say that I live at the perfect place on earth rather than just visit it, but we'll see what happens. I do love getting to go there. I love to have game nights. Sometimes I go hang out with my brother and friends and we do game nights. I love game boards. I think they're so fun. And then some nights, some nights, some days, some days off, I just like to chill and like watch my TV shows. Um, I love to off, like follow people on YouTube, watch their videos. So that's what I like to do when I'm not at work. I like to kind of just chill and like be in kind of a zen state and like do things that really take my mind off of like the pressures of work and business and this and time scales and stuff like that. So that's what I like to do. Um, I also like to work my business when I'm not at my main job. I love getting to learn. So I'm always watching learning videos from my uh, mentor. The next question. What is the secret to my long hair? Well, I don't have long hair right now because I just chopped it. Uh, the long hair is driving me crazy. The weather's warmed up and I like to have a nice fresh cut. Um, today I curled it so it is actually a little bit shorter than even that. Um, so the secret to my long hair is I stopped box dyeing my hair because it's the worst thing for your hair. Like horribly damages your hair. And um, my mom always dyed our hair when we were younger and we always use box dye or like we'd frost our hairs, you know? And then as I got to be an adult and I started, you know, doing my own hair, I learned how bad box colors for your hair. It destroys your hair, you guys. Um, so does like a lot of heat. So you wanna make sure that you're using like products that are have heat protectant, but also ones that aren't gonna damage the color in your hair. So I use color protecting shampoo. So right now I just put blonde in my hair. So I use purple shampoo because it's actually really good for your hair and it actually keeps the color in there. Um, I'm also very picky about like my hairdressers that I go to. I have been going to the same hairdresser since like 2012 and she uses really, really good products. And like, even if her price is a little bit more for the good stuff she uses, my hair feels so healthy. Even after bleaching it, you know how sometimes you'll have that really, like you won't be able to brush your hair for like weeks after bleaching your hair. My hair doesn't do that going to my hairdresser. And I know she uses um, a product called Oloplex and I'm obsessed with it. It is so good for your hair. It's a really good treatment to do, especially if you color your hair. 
Um, and then I eat really healthy. Like I, I take vitamins every day. So I think it's really important if you want to maintain strong nails, um, really good healthy hair, just to use good products that aren't going to damage your hair. Um, I try not to straighten my hair every single day. I don't, I hardly ever, maybe once or twice a year use a blow dryer. Um, and then I try not to use like too much hairspray or anything like that. Today I did because I wanted to hold my curl a little bit, but for the most part, I usually don't use a lot of like harsh products on my hair because that's when it starts to really like damage it. So I feel like maybe that's the secret to it. I really don't know what the secret to my long hair is. I just am really careful about um, just how I treat my hair, I guess. And I only color my hair twice a year. I'm pretty picky about that. So, um, and I don't mind the price that I pay for my hair because I do only do it twice a year. So usually in like the beginning of spring, I was a little late this year, <laughs> a little bad. Anyway, um, so I usually color it in the beginning of spring and that will hold me through spring and summer. And then usually around the beginning of fall, I'll dye my hair dark and then I just let it grow out. I usually just do a trim just to make sure it's nice and healthy at fall. And then I just let my hair grow out. And then it's usually like all the way down my back by the time spring hits. And then that's when I usually cut it up to this length and I do some kind of blonde. So I also think that's what helps keep my hair long and healthy. So I hope that answers the question. <laughs> um, next question, who do you look up to the most? You know, this has always been kind of a, I probably have like the weirdest answer for this. There's a lot of people I could say I look up to. But when I think about like someone as a whole, this is gonna be the craziest answer, but I've always said this and I have to stick to it. But like, I really look up to Jessica Alba. And I know that she's an actress and it's probably really cliche because you probably wanna hear answers, you know, like mom or, you know, this person or this like, you know, I, whatever. Anyway, I look up to Jessica Alba because she is a mom. She is an actress doing her dream job. She is a wife. And she is an entrepreneur business owner. She does all four of those things while also getting like hard stuff thrown at her, critics thrown at her, and then she just takes it with grace and class. And I just, if I could embody what I would really want to set an example as in the future, it would be somewhat like that. I wanna hold myself with class. I wanna uplift and empower women. I wanna have a healthy, like organic lifestyle. Um, I want to be a business owner. I also want to do my dream job. I want to inspire and help others. And I still want to be a mom and a wife. So I love that she does that. And she shows that you can do that and you can put whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. And the only reason maybe she stands out, cause there's probably a ton of other women that are the same. The reason she stands out is because she is an actress and a celebrity, but she just really stands out to me and has always stood out to me. She's always been my favorite actress and it's just simply because of the human that she is. So I would say, honestly, if I had to think of one person as a whole that I look up to, Jessica Alba. Um, where do you want to travel most? So I always said when I was younger, the first country I ever wanted to travel to was Iceland. It is a weird thing, but like when I was a kid, I saw a picture of like this big meadow and like they were literally like standing on this really pretty like green field and like not even like 50 yards in front of them there was just this serene snow and it just looked so beautiful and i was like i want to go there not for any other reason than that picture just looks so beautiful i don't even know what's in iceland but i gotta go to that country and i just always wanted to go there so i'd really really love to go there and then the other country I really, really want to go to really bad is another weird one that a lot of people wouldn't use, usually think, but Croatia. I think Croatia is so beautiful. It's a country of love. It's got history um, and it just looks so peaceful. And the, when I think about traveling, I want to go places that not everybody else in the world wants to go to because these are like little hidden pockets on earth that people don't think about. And so I'd really love to go there. Um, but I definitely would like to go to Europe. Um, I obviously lived in India for a year and I'd love to be able to go back there as well. Um, honestly, I would just like to travel everywhere, everywhere, anywhere I can go. I'll take it. 
Um, but yeah, I would definitely say Iceland and Croatia are probably like my top two. I mean, Greece is high up there too. I just, um, I love beaches. So any, anywhere where there's a nice beach, hopefully for my birthday, I'll get to go to Mexico this year. We're thinking about that. Um, and that will be another country that I get to say that I've gone to. I haven't even been to Canada, you guys. I live like a few hours from Canada. I've never been to Canada. <laughs> um, next question. What are my favorite songs right now? So I had to write this down so I don't forget. But these are the songs that I have just been listening to on replay depending on my mood for the day. Um, cause I go through different moods every day. So I like the song Wicked Games and pretty much anybody other than the original singer, I, there's so many singers that have re-sang Wicked Games and I pretty much love them all. But my favorite version is Wicked Games by Rain. Um, I just love it. It just sounds so powerful. It's fun. It just, uh. I don't know. I love listening to that first thing in the morning so it makes me feel like I can conquer the day. I just, I really love that song. If you've never heard it in Rain version, oh my gosh, so good. Please listen to it. Um, a big popular one that I like right now is Sweet Bit of Psycho by Ava Max. Uh, just a really fun girl song. So if I'm kind of in that fun, like, you know, poppy mood, I, that's one of the songs I love. Or if I'm listening to the radio and that one comes on, I'm like, yes, I'm belting it out in the car. <laughs> um, I love Lips on You by Maroon 5. It's so good. So if I'm just kind of in one of those moods and need a sexy song, like I love that song. So good. Another one if you've never heard because it's not a big song. Um, I also like Capital Letters by Haley Steinfeld. That is one of my favorites from the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Love that series, by the way. Love Twilight too. Yep, one of those people. Um, but I really love that song and every time it plays at work, I just get really pumped up. Like, makes me just want to sing and dance. So, really like that one. Um, Old Town Road is a new one that kind of has a country or pop version. So like when we go out on Friday nights, um, that's one of the songs I like to play that you can kind of dance to and it's fun and a lot of people like it. And that one's by Little Nas X. Um, and then one of my all time favorites for like the last like probably year and I love her whole new album, um, but you don't do it for me anymore by Demi Lovato. And I just like that one because when I was kind of in a rut um, coming out of a relationship and I really needed a song to like embody how I felt, boom, that song, nailed it. Um, what are your goals in life and how do you plan to achieve them? So my number one goal is um, to move to Southern California, to be closer to my family, to live in the place that I've wanted to live since I was like 16 years old. Um, I just feel really happy down there. I also feel very at home up down there. Like it's hard because I do feel very comfortable up here, but I don't feel like I have the same opportunities as I would down there. Um, I know it's expensive, but I just feel like I would be so much happier. And so my number one goal is to really get down there and how I'm going to achieve that is just keep pushing to try and save money. Um, to just get myself in a state where I can just get down there. Cause I mean, I'll, I'll admit, like I've been pretty close to having everything saved to be able to move down there. And then I kind of like get really nervous. Cause I'm like, I'm going to do this move by myself. Like I'm going to get a moving truck, get a trailer, put my car on it and move by myself. And that's really scary because that's like a whole state away. And like, I'm scared that I'm going to put all this money invested into it all this time get down there and have it not work out. But I've got to stop talking myself out of it because I know how bad I want to be down there. And I know I've got a support system down there. I've got friends and family down there. And I know if it doesn't work out, I've got friends and family. I can always come back up here. But yeah, so I'm going to achieve that. That's my goal this year. I got to keep telling myself I'm going to do it because I've been trying to do this for so long and I'm just hoping that it happens. So hopefully by October, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I will have enough saved to be able to move. That's the goal. Um, and then my other one is to be a police officer. And another reason I want to move is because I feel like there, I have really good opportunities down there with, uh, bigger cities. Um, they obviously have the border patrol down there. So it just opens up another opportunity for uh, being in that field. Um, and then just, I mean, even their smaller cities down there, I've heard they have a really good training program for people who come into being a police officer. So I just feel like if I get down there, I will hopefully be another step closer to police job. 
And then the last question, what inspired you to do YouTube? So I really wanted to connect to a broader community of people because I do live in a tiny town with like one stoplight and I'm working all the time. So I don't really get the opportunity to go out and meet people and go out and socialize and connect to the rest of the world. And you know, you try to do that through social media, but it's really hard. So it's been nice because I've started kind of connecting a little bit in Instagram, but I just think YouTube gives you the op opportunity and the platform to just really like meet all these new people in the world and for people to really like connect with you. And I see how much that happens for other people. And I just think like this could be that one thing I do every week where I get to meet new people and hopefully people like me and hopefully they want to talk to me and um, are interested in my life and um, see where it goes. But I just, I'm just inspired to actually just meet the world. And I love connecting with people and that's what, that's what social media is for. So let's utilize it to the, to the max. So that's the Q&A guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope I answered some of your questions and um, if you do have any more questions, drop those in the comments below. So then the next time I do a Q&A video, I might even be featuring your questions. Um, I'm going to start doing notification shout outs. So make sure you guys hit subscribe, hit the little bell. Let me know that you've turned the notifications on. Let me know that you're watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I will see you at the next video. I post one video every Sunday night. Thanks guys.